Hey guys, GNT here, and today I want to talk about these new scans for Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Yeah, usually I just put, I mean not scans, screenshots. <clears throat> usually I just put up the screenshots and that's it, but I actually want to talk about these. So yeah, what you see in what should be the first one, I think this one is going to be the first one up there, but I'm not, you know, I don't have it already done, so... When I do it, I'll edit it out. But anyway, the first scan, this screenshot, the, the first image that's up there shows the character with no name, the mysterious youth, hitting Android 17, while 18 is hitting Vegeta. Now. I think this is probably a cutscene or something like it, but I believe they did say that when you do gameplay there could be other people like around in the area. So that might be gameplay, who knows. But anyway, you know, I don't see any health bars, radars, and whatnot on the screen, so I'm assuming it's a cutscene. But what I want to talk about is now that you get a better look at this guy. He actually kind of looks like he could be a, what do you call it, a custom character. I mean, you feel what I'm saying? I mean, he, he felt that way from the beginning. But the more I get a closer look at him, the more he looks like just a... a it looks like somebody took styles from Dragon Ball Z characters and vomited it out into him. He has Gohan's face. And hairstyle for that matter. Vegeta Scouter. Piccolo's cape. And Trunks' outfit from History of Trunks. That's what it looks like to me. And... Anyway. Let me get back on topic because I got off of it. Um... In another picture, another image, another screenshot. You also see him jump in between Vegeta and the two androids. And becomes a Super Saiyajin. Yes. So apparently he's a Saiyan as well. Good to know. Now one other thing that you see from these screenshots is... I guess this is part of the story mode. And it seems to be a free roaming type deal, you know, you, unless, unless you like find a spot and just drop down and then talk to people and go back up, seems like you can run around the city and that's, that's interesting. You don't get much of that from Dragon Ball Z games. Usually you pick stuff and you go with it or you just fly around until you find the spot that you're looking for and you drop down like I was saying. So this seems pretty interesting as well. But that's all I really want to talk about. I think I hit all my points. He looks like a custom character. He's a Saiyan. And he intervenes in history. I believe they said that in the trailer or something. But yeah, he pops up in the middle of um, important battles and apparently stops them. Which actually doesn't look like he stopped it. It looks like he <laughs> he waited until Vegeta got messed up. And then said, you know what? I'm gonna be the hero. Super Saiyajin hero. Yeah, but enough of me just rambling. I just wanted to give my quick thoughts on these screenshots. I figured it'd make for a more interesting video than just looking at them. So, yeah. I'm going to start, I think I might start doing this for all the screenshots from now on. Tim, what you think? And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.